Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Це ж було вже. Hey all. Guess who's back? It's Gaia again. No upgrades, no new augments. Just felt like taking her out for a spin in some new missions. So the first video was all about the invincible invisible gear, but today's situation is a bit different. But who is our heroine? First off, she gets a 10% increase in critical damage chance with her abilities for each stack of electrical status on the enemy. The cool thing is that the source of these stacks doesn't matter. She's got Tesla balls in her arsenal that shock enemies and a roller vacuum cleaner that also zaps with electricity. She can also launch some cool moving bracelets on her hands, gaining energy regeneration, increased critical hit chance with weapons and abilities. It doesn't last long, but you can extend it by killing enemies. And lastly, Gare transforms into a ballerina in a tutu. Her skirt rises to a horizontal position, lightning strikes around, causing electrical damage in the area and applying a status effect. And she starts running a bit faster. Quite an electrifying lady. Since last time, I still have those Archon shards, essential for completely stripping enemies of armor or shields and speeding up ability usage. One of the first two abilities needs to be replaced with pillage. Your choice, the difference is minimal. I had to spend three formas to let our ballerina dance to her heart's content. The aura is necessary for guaranteed removal of any enemy defenses with a single button press. Archon Stretch not only increases the radius of damage but also allows energy regeneration when dealing damage with electricity abilities. You can replace Equilibrium if you want, but we'll often encounter enemies draining our energy. That's why I kept this mod. Adaptation reduces incoming damage. If you want, you can replace it with Rolling Guard, but then you'll need to adjust to the mod's cooldown time. Boost the power of abilities in every possible way. In the end, we should have at least 328%. And install an Augment mod for our third ability. It allows releasing an additional discharge of our ultimate with double damage upon killing enemies and also extends its duration. You can replace Arcane Barrier or Arcane Edges if you want. The main thing is that our shields can quickly regenerate in case there's no energy left to use Pillage. And you can replace it with Molt Augmented. As they say, I need more power. As for the main weapon, I brought out the good old Exorgist Shotgun. On paper, it has monstrous damage numbers, but they sharply decrease due to resistances and enemy defenses. Nevertheless, it will be useful for destroying void spawns. Since I'll mainly use it against a couple of enemies for experimentation, I equipped primary plated round. This increases damage by 33% after reloading. The level of this arcane only increases the duration of the buff. For the secondary weapon, I took a Grimoire, just in case I need to quickly restore energy. And for melee, I'll be using the Sinoid Hilioka. Since I installed a mod unlocking Tenake, it's also good to equip melee exposure, adding corrosive damage to melee weapons for 25 seconds after using abilities. The companion will restore our shields, increase their capacity, copy Eximus abilities, and zap enemies with lightning. I have Zenuric as my focus school, but with all the precautions we've taken, you can replace it with any school you prefer. Enough talking, let's get to it.
as always I was glad to try for you. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Give your likes, write your wishes or comments and don't you forget to subscribe to the channel videos are released every week. If you want to help the author and the channel, I will leave the link in the description below. See you soon.